What do you find are the most common issues that sex workers are facing when they turn to pineapple support? Since the pandemic, almost everyone that comes to us uh, has has marked down anxiety as as a problem that I, you know, that's one of the uh, effects of of the pandemic. I think we've all we've all experienced anxiety because of the pandemic. Um, we have quite a few folks who've experienced trauma, um, and there's been quite a change. We used to have a lot coming to us with personality disorders. We no longer have so many coming through with with that. It 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 all it kind of it seems to ebb and flow in in different in different areas, and then again in different states. You know, as you can imagine, in Nevada, we have a lot of folks that come to us with substance abuse problems. Um, and the, yeah, it depends on the demographic. It's actually really interesting when when we take a look at the um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, when we get the statistics when we when we do, when we run the reports on uh, mm-hmm. on the application forms. Uh, but but I would say depression, anxiety, and trauma are are the top three. Right. Um, have you seen the stigma of the adult industry affecting patients? As far as I am concerned, stigma is the only reason that pineapple support exists. Stigma is the main cause of uh, mental health issues within the adult industry. If, if you know, you you imagine. If you imagine the impact from society due to stigma, due to projected shame that's projected onto onto sex workers that you hear from maybe your family, from your let's say friends, um, and from the general public that what you're doing is shameful. You hear it over and over again. You then suffer with you know maybe small depression or or or, or something happens and you try to teach to talk to people and they tell you it's because you work in the adult industry. You then go to a therapist and that therapist confirms everything that society has just said to you. This is a professional mm. that's, that's now agreeing with, with what, um, what's his face that lives across the road and the, the mother of the, the kid at school and everything else, you know, this is just, going to send somebody on a huge, huge spiral mm-hmm. The you know, it's, um, it's just, it's disgraceful really. It's been, it's, it's incredibly upsetting, but, but yeah, without, without the influence of stigma, there would be no need for pineapple support. People would have access to any therapist that they could, um, get care from through their, uh, insurance. They'd be able to get insurance at, uh, an affordable, reasonable rate, um, mm-hmm. but you know, it, it's there. W- there wouldn't be so many problems around money, around banking, around housing, around every single basic aspect of life, because we are sex workers. We are stigmatized, and it is because of that the pineapple support exists. What do you say to people who? would then argue, well, of course, sex work's stigmatized because it's a lowly profession and you should get out and do something else with your life and then you will no longer face that stigma. You mean after I've throat punched them? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, at least then they won't be able to respond as you come back with your... Uh... True. Oh, no, I actually had... Uh... A conversation really recently with with a friend of mine who who was saying well you know it's like any celebrity you're putting yourself out there to be to be judged and what you're doing is even more vulnerable so you know you you bring it on yourself um and to a point you know there there is that you're putting yourself at you as a public figure you're putting yourself out there to receive feedback from the public but the difference is that the public don't give the same amount of respect to an adult performer as they would to say a footballer that did bad on the pitch that day or um, a mainstream actor. Uh, it's it's a profession that people 
many people don't understand that sex workers choose to be sex workers because they really like being sex workers. Um, and I think trying to politely educate people um, on the fact that, as I said, people really enjoy their job. They do this job because it can it can be a great income if you do it correctly. It's an amazing community. Most folks get into the industry because because I said that they they love it. Be that cam work, be that porn, be that you know um, BDSM or fetish side. They do it because they love it. And if you are doing a job that you love, that other people are taking pleasure from why on earth should that subject you to criticism and and shame projection yeah no i mean i i absolutely agree and that's like one of my favorite arguments to get in (laughs) with people so i totally understand the throat punch thing the other thing that also makes me crazy and you see this you know a lot of times we'll see you know, these, because I I see this all the time, people say, oh, you know, the adult industry is terrible. Look at the suicides and um, the deaths of all of these porn stars. And and a lot of them are actually after the people have left the industry and they've been out of the industry for a while. And so therein, I would argue again, like how this, it's the stigma that is the problem. Um, the way that society treats people who are in the adult industry or were in the adult industry. Um, a great example, and I think her name was Nicole. I've got to get this down. Um, she was she was in the adult industry for a very short period of time. She left and decided to go into nursing. And um, she got essentially pushed out of her school because her teacher found out that she had been in the adult industry and essentially stigmatized her for it and like push her out of school and she sued the school and I believe she won. And for me, that's just a wonderful example of this whole like, okay, well, you know, get a real job. You hear that all the time, right? Like you're just a whore, get a real job. Well, some people do leave the adult industry and go out and try to get a real job. And then they can't even have that real job because they once worked in the adult industry. I mean, another example, if you listen to John Ronson's The Butterfly Effect, um, he interviewed a few performers who had moved on and got fired from their jobs because they used to be in the adult industry. Dale DeBone, he was a nurse. He was fired from his job at the hospital, I believe, because they found out that he used to be a porn star. Um, So it's just crazy, you know, these... Yeah this decision that you make follows you for the rest of your life. And the adult industry is not the right place for everybody. I think we can all agree upon that. You know, it's, it's not the right job for everyone, but it's the perfect job for some people. So it is, but I think a lot of people recently, um, because of the pandemic have been getting into, just following on from Mm -hmm. that. Sorry. I I jumped in there. Um, (laughs) but there are so many folks who are now doing, um, or, or who started doing cam, performing particularly during uh, COVID or launch and only fans not reading the small print not thinking about the long-term effects of, of becoming part of the adult industry and now it's there it's there forever you don't you don't even own the content you know the the fan sites own the content um it, it can always be there to pop up at any moment um and the adult industry for for me has been the best industry. I'm, I would never work in any other industry. But as you said, it's not for everybody. And I think there have been a lot of folks recently who've, who've entered into the industry and possibly not thought through the the long term the long term effects. Right. Um, yeah. Absolutely. But my hope is that eventually at some point there these long-term effects won't exist like why should you be punished for deciding to work in an industry maybe you know maybe you were young and you made a decision and it wasn't for you and you want to move on and become something else like you shouldn't be barred from being able to pursue a different career because you once 
or a cam girl, or you once did a, a handful of porn scenes. It's just like, it's just crazy to me, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and that, that for me is the most infuriating thing is that, you know, people can't move on with their lives.